Ladies and gentlemen, we have officially entered a new Apple era. The fine woven era, which officially marks the end to most, if not all, of Apple's leather accessory offerings. I know, I know, pretty crazy. Some will cry foul, while others will cheer for this decision. Whatever side you're on, it does not matter because Apple has officially replaced their leather accessories with fine woven. An all new material from Apple and it uses almost 70% post-consumer recycled material. Here's how Apple describes it. It's made from a durable micro twill. The material has a soft suede like feel. The fine woven material was also designed with the earth in mind. It's made from 68% post-consumer recycled content and significantly reduces carbon emissions compared to leather. So while this is helping the planet, I know that a lot of Apple users, specifically Apple Watch owners, aren't really that excited. So clearly Apple is concerned with the environment and proves with this decision that it is focused on preserving the planet by playing their part. But we all want to know, are these new fine woven accessories worth it? Do they live up to the hype? They have some really big shoes to fill in. I mean, am I right? So today we'll be looking at the all new fine woven AirTag keyrings, which used to be featured in leather, but now have transitioned to fine woven alongside Apple's premium cases for the new iPhone 15 line, the MagSafe wallets, and like I mentioned, even a few Apple Watch Band styles. We're gonna cover all of them in their own individual videos so you guys know everything there is to know about this all new material and stick around until the end for my honest thoughts about fine woven. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get things started. <laughs> Okay, boys and girls, so these fine woven AirTag key rings retail for $35 a pop and does not include the AirTag itself. That is, of course, sold separately. And you get the new AirTag key ring in your choice of five brand new colors. We have Mulberry, Taupe, my personal favorite, Pacific Blue, Black, and Coral. Mulberry is a fire color and should not be rated at less than a 7 out of 10 for most people. If you rate it any lower, take a look into a mirror and you will be looking right at a hater. You can't be harsh on this color, it's solid, I think it's a fantastic fall color, and the purple reminds me of royalty. It, it also has just like a wine-esque mix to it, I really like it. All in all, a really solid color. Then there's taupe, and taupe is exactly what you'd expect. Most of my guys watching only know this color due to their girlfriends. Taupe is one of those colors that are kind of boring, but essential. Taupe is that background NPC color we all need. There's nothing special going on with taupe, it's just like this tannish brown. It's a great color for those that like something classic. This is a solid color and you really can't hate on it, and actually it's one of the ones that actually looks like leather the most, even though of course we all know it's now been replaced. Then there's Pacific Blue. I remember how great this looked on leather offerings. On this new fine woven material, it still looks great, but it loses that luster the natural leather offerings gave it. Still though, it's a nice rich blue mixed in with some aquatic green kind of vibes and overall is a great choice since it's also not too flashy. Next up is black and well, there's not much to say here. I mean, it's black and honestly, I gotta say, black leather just looks and feels way better. It's not that I'm hating on fine woven, I just love how a classic saddle brown or black leather appears on Apple accessories. Saddle brown leather and black leather were just Apple's staples. Now that this is not leather, I don't know, it kind of downgrades the whole premium factor a bit, at least in my opinion, but this should be a terrific choice for most people, seeing as how black is most times seen as a neutralizing color rather than a complimenting one. And finally, we have coral, a brighter color that is right up my alley and should be avoided if you don't like brighter colors. It's not to say coral is overly flashy though, it's the right amount of spunk that makes this a very fun and interesting color. And so now, the question everyone is wondering, how do these compare to the prior leather versions? And rest assured, you came to the right channel. Quick reminder to sub up if you haven't already. Anyway, have a look for yourself. My saddle brown leather keyring is being shown as a classic example of why people love leather. It's soft, it's supple, and with time, the leather itself will morph and age into something entirely different. The fine woven can't really boast those same qualities. It instead looks manufactured, it doesn't feel as pristine as leather, but it gets the job done. 
it just looks really industrial. It looks like it has no life to it. The leather ones at least felt like you had something special. The craftsmanship on these key rings is immaculate just as before with every stitching being exact and very precise. The new fine woven versions keep the same exact ergonomics, so the design looks almost identical, all of course except the material being used. And after all, Apple is helping the environment, or at least that's their reasoning for why the charger isn't included in every iPhone purchase, right? I can't help but feel disappointed here as fine woven looks good, but it just no longer has that premium feel that came accompanied with leather accessories. And look, I'm glad Apple has taken this direction because it was counterintuitive to their whole mission statement. Apple likes to portray themselves as this progressive forward thinking company and yet sold millions upon millions of leather goods. And guess where all this leather came from? Exactly, the slaughtering of animals. So regardless on what side you sit on, because remember, this is absolutely not a political channel, I can't help but feel some nostalgia for the good old leather days. Apple has officially entered a new era, and while I'll miss my Apple accessories getting that cool patina over the months, we still have yet to see how well this material will hold up over the years. With leather, consumers bought with confidence knowing their leather patina journey is sure to be an adventure. But we can all assume this new material will simply not share that same characteristic. While I love the colors, I think I need some more time with fine woven accessories to make my final decision. For now, my first impression is that I feel that it doesn't just feel as premium, it feels manufactured and super fake, and I'm worried how well they'll hold up over time. And lastly, again, I flat out miss leather. It sucks this officially marks the end of an era, but I want to know what you guys think. For those who already have picked up some fine woven accessories, what are your thoughts? I'm going to wait a few months before I make my final choice about fine woven, but for now, I hope you enjoyed this quick little review. I think I'll get a fuller idea of what this new material has to offer on larger accessories such as the fine woven MagSafe wallet or the new fine woven iPhone cases, which are sure to show scratches, maybe some dents more than the AirTag accessories. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Until then, I got plenty of reviews in the pipeline, including band reviews, drain tests, comparisons and so much more make sure to ring that bell if you haven't already to stay tuned and with that i'm clocking out for now don't forget to stay hydrated guys but i cannot wait to catch you all in my next video